Hello students and welcome back to real analysis from Schultz's classes. We are looking at more interesting sets and this is video number 5. If you haven't checked out our previous videos, I suggest you go check them out. And if you had any doubt or you have any doubt, so you can call or WhatsApp us on this number 9367930076. And if you want to check out more cool content, head over to our website at www.shortsaclasses.com. Okay. So we'll be looking at this set, which is one, one and half, one plus one by two plus one by two squared plus dot 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 dot. Let me just this should be a comma. So this is one plus. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus dot 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 plus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 and so on and so forth. Right. So, how do we approach this? We are required to find the GLB, LUB, or if we if we can say that this set is bounded or not. So, how do we approach this problem? This is uh, a little tricky so you have to pay attention so, okay, so here we have 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus plus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 which is equal to uh, this is uh, GP so this is 1 into 1 by 2 to the power n into 1 minus 1 by 2 which is actually equal to 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1. Alright. So we have the set S thus the set S is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 n belongs to the set of natural numbers and this is equal to 2 2 minus half 2 minus 1 by 2 square dot 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 dot, dot and so on and so forth so basically so basically we can say that this is equal to S is equal to X belongs to S such that 1 X2. Okay, from where we can write this as equal? From the original thing, we can write that this is actually equal to 1, so it forms the greatest lower bound. And from this, we can write that this is equal to 2 so this is the least upper bound so our inferences should be the set s is bounded set s has an infimum has an infimum of s is equal to 1 belonging to s and supremum of s is equal to 2 which belongs to s so thank you for watching this video. We'll be back with more in our next videos. Please stay tuned.